in AV 2018, the world's largest expo for broadcast media content. The show where the latest creative developments are on display. Hi, I'm Kaylee Hewlett from In Broadcast, and I'm here at NAB 2018, and I'm joined here by Roger from Crystal. So, Roger, talk to me a little bit about what you're doing here at NAB. This is I, I quit counting how many years we've we've been at NAB, so it's but it's been decades, and Crystal is certainly exhibiting monitoring control systems like we have for the last 30 years, uh, but more importantly handling metadata and video uh, to enable services like dynamic ad replacement, dynamic ad insertion, live to VOD capability. Um, so those, those are the big things that we're exhibiting here. What new products and services are you showing here at NAB? One of the new products we're, we're demonstrating is VidTime, our VidTime technology. And that allows us to synchronize metadata with video um, so that we can reapply markers that identify when ad breaks start and stop and when program segments start and stop, and reapply those downstream at any point in the video distribution chain. Uh, we're demonstrating that here by reapplying those markers on an OTT feed that has absolutely no markers at all. So we have a local TV station in Atlanta that we're bringing in here uh, through a commercial uh, consumer grade service and reapplying those markers and dynamic replacing ads with VidTime technology. What are the challenges and opportunities that you find your customers facing? One of the big challenges with live linear streaming in the OTT world is getting ad decision systems to provide the right ads at the right time. When you have a million people streaming a program and you have a million requests going out to ad decision systems at the exact same time, those systems can get overloaded and what you what you get back is absolutely nothing. So you can't replace any ads because you don't have any ads to replace them with. Um, the way Crystal interfaces to play out systems at the point of origin, we can look ahead into the future to find out what breaks are coming up and allow those systems to go fetch ads ahead of time with breaks, whether it's two minutes ahead of time, 10 hours ahead of time, any, any advance notice makes it possible for us to un unlock that bottleneck where there are so many requests coming in at one time. Right. So what does the future hold for Crystal? The future of video is still very much related to advertising. Content is king and advertising pays for that content. Um, subscription services offset some of those fees, but the reality is advertising needs to continue to subsidize the cost of content delivery. And Crystal is doing everything we can to ensure that advertising is relevant to consumers. Um, I've always said people don't mind watching ads as long as they're relevant. They don't like to watch irrelevant ads. Now where can people go to find out some more information? The best place is our website, uh, crystalcc.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Roger. This is Kaylee Hewlett at NAB 2018.